Well, the national competition has some Oklahoma students looking at math and science in a whole new way. More than 11,000 teams from across the U.S., including more than a dozen from Oklahoma, built robots from the ground up as part of a competition that's much more than a game. Here's our Jessica Lowe. Hundreds of high school math and science teams from around the world are recovering from what I would call months of a very intense brain workout. First Robotics competitors began building versatile robots designed to succeed at this year's game of rack and roll. The objective, to have a robot grab inflated rings and position them on a post in the middle of a court while warding off defensive strategies of other robots. And after many nationwide regional competitions, 86 teams battled it out on the national court in Atlanta. And let's just put it this way, Oklahoma wasn't left out of the game. Dressed in vibrant colors and team memorabilia, competitors from 23 different countries are showing how brain work stirs up excitement. Red, blue, red. But before all the hype of competition, students spent six weeks creating these specially designed robots. Well, you gotta hold it. That, but that should be 12 inches up in the air and count. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Ponca City oh, High School God. students are no rookies to the first robotics national competition, and they say getting there takes a lot of work. It was really tough. I think we did really well though this year. We uh, we had a really good group. We were we focused. This is Carly Lewis's second year in robotics, and although she's one of only a few girls on the male-dominated team. Her engineering skills are essential. Having the input in planning everything, like with the, the arm, it turns 360 degrees. So, and that was something, and also the way the claw is, it makes it to where it's capable to just drop the inner tube over and let the gravity take it. And that was something me and my friend found out at the kickoff and just, you know, getting co to contribute and actually have a voice in it. It just made me feel really good. But not all ideas during the building um, phase are successful. The reason we couldn't use this is that it was too heavy. And we snapped a bunch of parts. It takes teamwork. Oh, that might help if we like pull up with this. To make everything fall in place. <laughs> and scoring high in safety is what allowed them to bring home two awards. We've got a bloodborne pathogen policy and a lockout tagout where if you're working on a machine, it has to you know, unplug it from the wall so it can't be accidentally turned on and you put a lock on it. And this was Tri-County Technology Center's first time ever on the robotics playing field. I guess it was kind of just a little bit overwhelming when we got there because we're thinking, there's a ton of robots here and ours, you know, look so small and, you know, not that interesting compared to theirs. But it was their small, simple design that took them all the way to the semifinal round in Atlanta, Georgia. The fact that it was a uh, simple design, I mean, our arm was just basically up and back. Some of their arms were all, you know, four joints, all moved every which way. But I mean, ours was simple, reach down, pick up the tube, hang it on there. And I mean, we were so fast at that, that's probably what helped us more than anything. And they say much credit goes to the Ponca City team for helping them get things up and running. We really didn't know how to begin, how to start with anything with our robot. And they came down in the middle of the huge, you know, snowstorm. It was definitely a confidence builder because we felt like, okay, we can actually get started now and we weren't freaking out. Developing skills that all of these young designers are taking beyond the playing field and into the future.